As if still includes two new features to import all the steel column loads and geometry information either directly from an ETAPS model or from any analysis software via an Excel spreadsheet. This new integration feature will allow the design of all the steel columns in a building using ASDIP steel, regardless of the analysis software that generated the loads or the geometry. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to review these new integration features and how to use them to complete your design in a fraction of the time. Let's get started. ASDIP steel is now able to import the column loads directly from an ETAPS model. Just go to design and click on import columns from ETAPS. I have already prepared an example in ETAPS. This is a four-story steel building, which includes a concrete slab on metal deck supported by steel beams. The beams are supported directly on the columns. The frame system includes steel columns, beams and bracing. In this direction, we have moment connections. And in this direction, we have steel bracing supporting the lateral loads. To import the column loads from ETABS, open ASIP Steel, and in the Project Manager, go to Design, Import Columns from ETABS. Then select the model file to open and click Open. This will open the model in ETABS and will run the analysis automatically to collect the information. Then ETABS will close. In the Project Manager, nodes of all the imported columns will be created in the tree under the Steel Column branch. You can double click on any specific node to open the calculation for that column. For example, the column C1 in story one, this is the calculation corresponding to that column. We can see in the loads tab that all the loads were imported, dead, live, including wind with all the steps, and also seismic with all the steps. In this particular example, we have imported 13,440 column loads just with a click of a button. Entering all these loads by hand will be completely impractical and time consuming. If you have ETAPS, this is the easiest way to import the loads into ASDIP Steel. But if you don't have ETAPS and you have another analysis software, you can also import the loads into ASDIP Steel using the second option, is import columns from Excel. This is the second feature that we're going to discuss today. To use this feature, you need to download first the Excel template to your computer. This is the Excel template. It has four tabs at the bottom. The last two tabs include an example that you can use as a guide just for your own case. In this particular example, I have copied all this information into the first two tabs. The first one is for the geometry of your building. That includes the column name, the column length, the AISC designation and FY. And in the frame forces tab, you need to enter the column name, the load case, the step number, and then the loads. The loads include vertical moments in both directions and shears in both directions. Once you complete this table, copying the information from your analysis software, as if still can read all this information and import all the loads and geometry into your model. To import the loads from the Excel file, go to Design, Import Columns from Excel, then select the spreadsheet that you just created and click Open. Then ASIP still will read information from the Excel spreadsheet. Similarly to the case of the Import from ETABS, here you can open any of these calculations, you just double click on any node, and this is the calculation corresponding to that particular column. The loads, again, will be there, including wind and seismic. From here, you can design the column yourself by selecting another column section from the database. For example, we can select 14 by 34. So it's over by 55%. So this is a trial and error process. Or you can go to the design, design manager, and let us design it for you. You specify here the range of the depths. For example, if I want to know all the winners, all the columns that comply with the code that are between 12 inches and 24 inches deep, then find sections. So these are all the winners. All these sections will comply with the design criteria. For example, we can select W12 by 53, and we know that the design ratio will be 0.93. We click, and here we can see that the ratio is 0.93 for W12 by 53. 
With this, we conclude the presentation of these two new features in ASDIP still. One is the import of the loads and geometry from an ETAPS model. The second feature is the import of loads and geometry using an Excel spreadsheet. This second feature is useful when you don't have ETAPS, but you have another uh, analysis software. So you can copy the output from your software into an Excel spreadsheet, and then ASDIP still will read this spreadsheet. As you can see, these two new features in ASDIP still are very useful. If you like the software, please download the free 15-day trial visiting the website www.asdipsoft.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.